Greetings, sirs and madams. I'm Seraphic Zero, and we're playing Gundam Battle Operation. So, I'm presenting you another match with the uh, G-Line standard armor. And that's because uh, the last time I posted it, like, we were just in this like, completely random match, and uh, I don't think the footage really gave the suit a fair shake. So, uh, here I am posting a different match with it. And looking back on the footage, um, I feel like I definitely need more practice <laughs> with this mobile suit, but yeah, it's okay. It's a pretty decent match. Um, full disclosure, however, um, the enemy team does uh, have a disconnect, so uh, yeah, just being honest. <laughs> yeah, so that's a nice way to start. So, the uh, the G-Line standard armor is uh, it's a it's actually a suit I I like quite a lot. It's uh, oh man, yeah, this power gym right here is <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be my special friend this match. So uh, the G-Line standard armor is a general type suit uh, suit that I like quite a lot. It has uh, an instant stunning beam rifle. And it also has a pair of Gatling uh, cannons on its on its backpack, so it's I'd say its loadout would should technically make it superior to a lot of other mobile suits. However, uh, I don't know. I think the the devs made a they did a really good job of like uh, making sure it's not overpowered. So the the beam rifle it, it overheats really really easily. You can't fire it twice in a row. And of course, the uh, the Gatling uh, guns, they're actually super, super low ammo capacity for some reason. Which, uh, I don't really know what's the need for that, because there's plenty of other suits in the game that have Gatlings. And they have, like, an absolutely insane amount of ammo in them. So, if you can get enough slots on this thing, I recommend you use the, uh, the ammo, like, reload speed, like, part. Uh, this is my US account, so I don't really have any, like, too many slots on this thing. Yeah, and this match is from quite a while back. Um, I haven't started using the, uh, the advanced weapon switching technique as of this point, so that's why uh, I'm not really comboing from my rifle into my beam saber. That's because the, uh, on the weapon cycle for this mobile suit, the rifle and the beam saber are pretty much on opposite ends of it, so like unless you use uh, the advanced technique, you're not going to be able to combo properly like from rifle to saber. So that's why I'm going to pretty much try to stay back, uh, stick with my teammates, and just uh, do my best to stun uh, the enemy when I can, and then um, do as much damage as I can with the Gatlings. Of course, uh, this beam rifle, it's, it's quite hard to hit with. Um, like, uh, because the range that this mobile suit plays in is uh, pretty much similar to a mobile suit that would use a bazooka. However, uh, its instant sun beam rifle, it, it has, you know, the beam rifle hitbox, so it's going to be a lot harder to hit with. Yeah, and then, <clears throat> yeah, you're going to have issues if you happen to have overheated your beam rifle and your Gatlings. You're you don't really have anything unless you can manage to get in close with your beam saber, but for the most part, um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to close that distance in time to do the damage I need. Yeah, but my team seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, obviously, that's... Um, well, we are working well together, but um, the Xeon side is shorthanded by one man, as far as I know. Yeah, I, I didn't mean know that until like uh, the score came up but yeah just uh just full disclosure just just so you guys know what happened um, but still it's it's a good chance to demonstrate uh, the qualities of this mobile suit and i really should have been watching the radar because <laughs> uh yeah three xeon shoot suits rolled up on me yeah so that's the ganeos and apparently it, its shield does block damage <laughs> yeah unless unlike the regular game my special friend again. Yeah, 
and on this map, um, actually, I'll be honest and say, I actually don't like this map very much. Um, ah, there he goes. Oh, he got the full combo. Good job, man. <laughs> Yeah, I actually don't like this map very much because, uh, yeah, there's a lot of cover and all that, but I find that usually when I play on this map, um, the teamwork is really horrid, and it's just, um, yeah, maybe it's not the map's fault, but, uh, yeah, I just have a lot of bad experiences on this thing. <laughs> and also, the, uh, the underground channels aren't really a thing I make, like, I take advantage of because I just don't like fighting in tramp spaces. Also, uh, the fact that I'm using a, a beam rifle, that's uh, it's gonna be really, really hard to aim, especially in melee, like melee range, which is basically what you're gonna be doing on the ground. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay on top as much as I can. Yeah, it runs out way too fast. I could have gone in with my beam saber there, but I didn't want to track, uh, trip our axe off the player. How the hell did he get tripped? Okay. Yeah, this Kemper player is, uh, it's pretty tricky. <laughs> yeah, I didn't quite leave the shot well enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help my teammate go after the Kemper here, because I figured get, the Kempers are pretty squishy, so they can uh, probably be destroyed pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to switch to my Beam Saber, but I kind of screwed that up. Oh, damn it. Yeah, all my weapons are overheated, so I'm gonna have to chase him down with the Vulcan gun. Holy crap. Did he just kill two of my teammates? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Let's get back in there. Yeah. And when you do get an opening, those Gatlings really do a lot of damage. I understand why they limited the ammo on that, but... I really wish they had... Uh, would increase the capacity a little bit to... Uh, give the small suit a little more utility. Yeah, and looking at this footage, it kind of feels like its running speed is a little low average. But yeah, time's up. Let's see how we did on the score. Oh man, so I had about a 3,000 point lead. So it's one of those disconnects where, like, the team just started with, um, like, one fewer, one fewer, and uh, honestly, I felt really bad <laughs> that uh, that we just fought a team and they didn't have a full setup. So yeah, it's a drop of the Ganeos. Alright guys, that's it for this match. Uh, that's uh, the G-Line Standard Armor, and I want to say thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. A heavy rain falls as Zeon's forces lay waste to the abandoned city. The battle is cruel and merciless. Zero enters combat in a new melee class mobile suit, yet he never draws his beam saber. The battle devastates both Xeon and Federation soldiers alike. Will the Federation forces prevail, or has victory become meaningless? Next time on Gundam Battle Operation.